Hey guys. Hello. So if you've been following the Toymaker blog, you'll know that I've been going through the ham radio license manual for, oh gosh, since last, since January or so. And um, I've been going through every single page looking for concepts that I understand and concepts that I don't. And one of the things that I had to learn was about capacitors. So capacitors essentially can hold charge and they consist of two conductors separated by a dielectric. Yes, and the dielectric is an insulator um, and charge is held between these two plates. So I decided I would put theory to the test and I would make my own foil capacitor. Um, and it was a bit more difficult than I had initially uh, anticipated. So I'm thinking, okay, we'll just take two two pieces of foil, stick some saran wrap in between, stick a couple of wires, and voila! Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> so the first time um, I did it, I did it with two foil pieces this, this size. I taped a wire to the ends of these, put some saran wrap in between, and then rolled it like a, like a little cigarette, I Didn't guess. Didn't you do two layers of saran wrap? One, and then one? No. I did, so I had one piece of saran wrap. We did saran wrap, then I put this here, then I felt, folded the saran, saran wrap, then I stuck that on top, then I folded the saran wrap back. I see. That way I wouldn't have to, you know, cut everything. Anyway, so this did nothing. My voltometer said, Haha, <laughs> you lose. So I said, okay, well that sucks. And then I talked to some some of the guys in the Savage Circuits group and they're like, well, you know, you could try changing up the the dielectric, my trusty cling wrap. Um, but I was insistent, stubborn, if you if you will. And so we got the suggestion to try slightly larger pieces of foil. So I went from here to about twice that size. And still nothing. So finally, after hours and hours of trying, I managed to get <laughs> a cigar-sized um, capacitor thing here. It's about two feet of foil, and I'll show you how I made it, uh, with one wire attached to one foil piece and the other wire attached to the other foil piece. Saran wrap in between, saran wrap on top and on bottom. Um, or maybe just the bottom. We'll know when I do it. Uh, taped up with some ghetto tape. And I'm going to show you the capacitance and how it holds charge. So here I have a 4.5 volt battery pack. And I'm just going to attach that, if you're so lady. And most people say that well, pretty much everybody. Everybody will say that you only need to charge this for like a millisecond, but I'm kind of... Um, a millisecond's far too long for Addy to wait for anything. No, it's too short. <laughs> so this is where I go to do other things. Okay, so we're back, and I'm going to take this off. Take this battery pack away, and we're going to measure this. Now I have, originally I put the measurement on the 1.5 volts, but I don't, but this capacitor really doesn't hold that much charge. So instead we went to the 200 millivolt section, <laughs> just to see. All right. Huzzah! There it goes. Look at that. You can see it draining down to zero there. Oh, that's because I, I stopped touching it. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I love it. So now you can survive the zombie apocalypse, well, rebuild society, With using my foil saran, saran wrap. wrap. And... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you quickly how to make it, and we're going to compress this section. Yeah.
we're going to go ahead and test this because we just got it charged up. There it goes. There we go. Not as much charge on this one. I know, the original is always better. So there you go, a DIY foil capacitor. And who all helped you? And I had tons of help from, the, again, the Savage Circuits chat crew. Um, let's see, Brain Wagon, who's got a video uh, that corroborates this. Uh, Roy, Electroman, oh, Roy Eltham, Electroman J. Um, let's see, John S. Underscore AZ, JRS Pruitt, Anonymous, and oh gosh, <laughs> just everybody. Yeah. And it was my suggestion to just use a whole bunch of foil. Yeah. The uh, brute force tactic. Well, apparently they said, and what kind of cued me off was that they, in the chat, in the Skype and chat, they had mentioned that in real capacitors, in normal capacitors, um, when you unwind the foil, it's almost 20 feet. So I was like, oh, well, a couple inches isn't going to do much. So I got measurable results from my two-foot foil capacitor. All right, I think that covers it. Yes. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe and follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.